show that the vector field is conservative then evaluate the line integral where c is any smooth path joining the points 0 0 and 1 1 so we need to show the vector field given here is conservative first notice that the domain of f is all the points in r2 we got x y it is coming from r2 and there are no holes that means the domain is simply connected and we denote the first component of this by p and this is q and we find the following two partial derivatives here parcel of p with respect to y so let's find the partial derivative of this with respect to y so 2x times 3y squared so 6x y squared and parcel of q with respect to x that is 6x y squared they are same that means the vector field is conservative now when the vector field is conservative we can easily integrate this line integral using the fundamental theorem of line integral for we need to find a function then we can find a function we denote by little f in terms of x, y such that the gradient of f, grad f will be this f vector okay uh, uh, there is a procedure to evaluate but our vector field is so simple so I'm gonna guess and check okay let's take fxy be a function and when we find the partial derivative of this function with respect to x we have to get p and when we find the partial with respect to y we need to get the second function so since this is simple I'm just guessing and I'll check okay looking at the first term when we integrate with respect to x uh, y cube will be constant 2x antiderivative of 2x is x squared so x squared y cube let's guess this if we find the parcel with respect to x that's 2x y cube so we have that now we need to find the parcel of this with respect to y parcel of this with respect to y is x squared times 3y squared 3x squared y squared oh that's here so this is z this is it okay this is the this is a potential function in fact there is a procedure to determine this for was my other videos okay then this line integral that we are trying to evaluate here from 0 0 to 1 1 okay then this line integral f dot dr will be just this f function evaluated at the terminal point minus f function evaluated at the initial point so 0 0 to 1 1 so 1 1 terminal point 0 0 initial point which is now let's evaluate it 1 1 1 1 just 1 minus 0 times 0 0 so the answer is just 1 